Hey loves, what's up? I have been trying to film you guys a what's in the dressing room. And I went to Ross, I picked out a ton of stuff and then the dressing room was closed and then we went to Burlington and there was like nothing, nothing. So we are gonna go to Target, but I thought I would quickly film this intro while there's like the smallest bit of sunlight left. Um, I'll probably have to wrap this up when I get home inside. Uh, but hopefully Target has some new stuff. It hasn't been that long since I've done it in the dressing room at Target, but I've seen some cute new stuff, so we will see. I'm gonna give it a go, why not? You can always go to Target. Who doesn't like to go to Target? You like to go to Target? I love Target. You love Target. Um, and we're going to a different Target than I normally go to. At least it's a new Target. Maybe there will be, there's probably not Halloween yet, but one can help. I don't know. So we're just gonna go to Target and see what happens. If anything, this will be a shop with us at Ross Burlington and Target. <laughs> what an adventure. Uh, it's an adventure today. Why is it so difficult? But we're gonna go do that now. So anyway, let's go to Target. Hopefully we can find something cute. Um, I have faith. I know that they at least are getting like some Halloween pajamas and t-shirts and like I'm always down for that. So maybe there'll be something cute. Um, but yeah, let's see. Let's go on an adventure to Target. I was like, let's go. <laughs> All right, loves, we have made it into the fitting room. I know you are so very shocked. I am wearing All Fashion Nova. You guys know how I love their jeans and their tees, and it was definitely one of those days again. The first thing we tried on was this dress. Okay, I know, I know. When you first, I'm like, hold on. With a waist belt, some cute tights, and a little hat, it could be a very cutesy Halloween-y dress. And the more I've thought about it, the more I regret not picking it up because I think that with a waist belt, it would elevate it so, so much. That's the problem with a lot of the dresses at Target right now is a lot of them need belts or they're just like very, they're too flowy for my taste, in my opinion. Um, but with a waist belt, I'm down, I'm down, I'm totally down. So I actually, now that dress is so grown on me and I think I might need to go back and get it. Spooky season, here we come. Um, I did try this dress on and as I had it in the fitting room, I didn't realize until I had it in the fitting room, I tried this exact dress on in white last time. And like, it, it's not terrible, but it's not great. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not great, you know? I mean, you know, um, they did have it on the mannequin with this cardigan and together I actually thought they were pretty cute. So I did try on the cardigan. I love this cardigan. I love, 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 love this cardigan. They had different colors. Um, I went with like the oatmeal one. Uh, Target always has really good cardigans. Um, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Uh, and I don't think it was too bad. I think it was 25 bucks. You probably just saw the price and I was not paying attention. Uh, but it had really long sleeves. The size was really nice. Uh, I really like the knit. I'm all about knit patterns. I'm so weird. I like I like a chunky knit. So yeah, I thought it was cute. Um, the dress just wasn't 100% my vibe. This guy I grabbed, and this one again is another one that I feel like if it's belted, so cute. So cute. It is very basic, and it is very flowy. It's got pockets, though, so pockets are always a win. And 
black and white. I feel like you can't go wrong with black and white. So I thought this one was pretty cute. It's nothing revolutionary. That's the thing. I feel like all of Target's plus size section is not like there's nothing that just jumps out at you and seems exciting. You know, it's a little bit boring to be honest with you. And what stinks is there was a quite a bit of stuff, not a ton, but a decent amount of stuff in the junior section. And I can go between an XXL or in the plus size section. So I am blessed in that area. But the thing is, is they had like no two X's. Um, they just were out of them. They don't get as many. I don't think most stores don't get as many of the extra smalls in the two X's. Um, but you know, I feel like had there been more, I would have probably had a cuter try on. But I did try to get a decent amount of stuff from the actual plus size section, and it was slim pickings. Again, this was one of the smaller targets. It is the smallest target in town, um, so I wasn't, you know. This dress, again, super cute, but I think it needs a belt. It just needs some shape. That's a good way to put it. Their, their clothes just needs a little bit of shape. You know, and I understand the flow is in. I love it too. And I love a waist belt. So I'm not, you know, too bummed about it. But I know a lot of people aren't going to want to bother with a waist belt or something to elevate the look. Like this dress, I thought this was cute. But again, this was part of the junior section. I feel like it's a cuter of like the vibe of dresses that they've been having. They have been having a lot of, I don't even know what inspired all of the little house on the prairie type fashion right now. I don't know. I was worried for a second the way it was fitting my, my chest. My long torso, my, my chest is a little bit lower because of it. So stuff kind of will sometimes fit my, my chest a little weird. That's why I was checking. I thought maybe it was on and set out. But I thought this was pretty cute. I thought it was pretty cute. And I'm seeing some dresses that I did pass up trying on in the junior section on some plus size babes on Instagram. And I'm actually really bummed that I didn't just like push myself to try them on. I thought it was just going to be a disaster. Or they didn't have my size. But anyway, I tried to be a little bit adventurous with these teal jeans. They're interesting. They're interesting. I love that they're high-waisted. They're a thicker material. And you can see, like, the crotch. Sorry to tell you to look at my crotch. That's awkward. <laughs> but the crotch was, like, a little bit low. It's, like, they fit exactly like the only other pair of colored denim I've ever had in my life. Maybe it's the way the fabric is color-treated. Um, I did grab 22s. I do most of the time wear a size 20, um, but at Target I usually go with the 22. Uh, I've been just doing a lot of 22s lately because I just, my, my, <laughs> I don't want to deal with pants that don't fit right now, okay? So I just go with the 22 to be safe. Um, but, and then I tried on this Nirvana T2, nothing too special. For it being a junior 2X, it's more of like a unisex fit. Um, I'm not mad at it because a lot of the times their 2X t-shirts, the XXL t-shirts, excuse me, in the junior sections don't really fit me right. Um, but yeah, so the pants could have been better. They just, I feel like there just wasn't, there was stretch, but like not enough in the calves. They just fit weird with a low crotch. Okay, this sweater, I love this. I love this. It exceeded so many expectations because it, I mean, it's not, again, the, the theme of this try on is nothing is really revolutionary but this is cute this is cute it could only be cuter if it was black and white because you guys know that's my vibe but i i like the gray and white and for it being the juniors line and being an xxl i do give them kudos for how well i felt like it did fit i didn't feel like it was snug anywhere i feel like it looks snugger as i'm watching this than it actually felt like you can see yeah there was quite a bit of room um, which I really did appreciate. That doesn't happen often in the XXLs. So I really like that sweater. It's cute. Then I tried on these jeans and I think they were cropped. Either they were, I, I'm pretty sure they were cropped and I didn't realize it until I was in the fitting room. Um, and I just tried on with a Billie Eilish t-shirt because I was like, you know what? This is cute and it looked like it was oversized. It definitely fit like a men's 2X or XXL or extra large what am I saying it felt like a men's shirt and it was kind of thick so it wasn't the most comfortable t-shirt uh, so this guy did not go home with me but I do love me some Billy uh, but the pants the actual pants with the exclusion of them being way too short you can see my nice chunky ankles one of them's always extra swollen too they're cute whatever their ankles they get me around you know but anyway long story short I'm sorry you guys my brain is just so scatterbrained too much coffee today the actual way these pants fit was great. They were just too short. I, I felt like they fit pretty good around my belly, 
areas. The crotch was not near as low. Um, they were comfy, but again, they just were too short for me. I don't really do the crop, and I'm a tall bean, so they look funny on me. Uh, but I did like the fit of these. So if you're shorter than me, I'm five nine. Keep that in mind. Okay, we're back on our fit. Let's wrap this up. Hey loves, what's up? I'm clearly not in my car anymore because it was dark when I left Target the other day. It's been a few days. I think I'm actually wearing the same shirt that I wore a few days ago when I went to Target. Um, I'm sorry that this was kind of a fail. I mean, there was some cute stuff. There was some cute stuff at Target, but I I feel bad that like you had to have another Target in the dressing room. But like time crunch, time crunch. As you guys know, I am leaving for Portland this weekend for a couple days with my friend Lena. Uh, so I just had to get extra stuff filmed as much as they could this week. And I really, I tried to get somewhere new and like obviously didn't work out. But Target is still, <laughs> given I went to a Target that, I'm probably, I've already told you this, but I went to a Target that is smaller than the usual Target I go to, which is, is the biggest one in town. We've got three. And I went to the smallest one because that's the one that was near me the other day when I was filming. Uh, so I wasn't super impressed, but I just have to say a lot of their dresses, just get a belt. If you have a belt, I feel like it's going to elevate them so much more if you like any of them. I actually really am keep thinking about that Halloween-y kind of one, but that's kind of... I don't know the right word for it, but kitschy, kitschy, is that a word for it? I'm trying not to, ooh, sorry about the shadow, what are words? I just got my nails done. I'm completely off topic. Hi, what's up? It's like I'm in vlog mode, but I'm really trying to wrap up this target in the fitting room so I can get this video together for you guys. Sorry that I'm just holding this, um, but I did just go get my nails done. I went very basic, spooky vibes, black mat. Um, yeah. So I've got so much to do before I leave town. But anyway, I didn't get anything at Target. I mean, I got stuff at, we know I didn't even get anything tonight. I just went to Target today and I hit that dollar spot. The Halloween dollar spot has dropped. I got all of those little potion bottles. If any of you guys were with me last year where I was just like hunting for those potion bottles and could not get my hands on them. And I was so bummed because I literally saw a woman buy all of them and I only got a few of them because she was reselling them. Her entire cart was full last year, but this year I got one of each. I got all eight. I'm very excited. So I did get some stuff at Target, all Halloween-y stuff today. Uh, when I went, I've been to Target twice since I filmed that. I've been to Target a lot this week trying to prep things and get things done. Um, but, hi Luna. Luna's on the floor. But anyway, Target wasn't really impressed, not gonna lie. I didn't need to bring anything home with me. Nothing, you know, said take me home. The cardigan was really cute, but like, I really don't need another cardigan. I do really love that. And there was some cute stuff, but nothing that I absolutely had to have, especially because I'm going on a trip, like I said. So try not to spend too, too much money before I go, even though I've been going crazy on Halloween decor. Girl, but anyway. So check out your Target if you would like to. And just a reminder, I always try and link everything down below, even if it's in the and in the fitting room. Um, I always go through the, the trouble of doing that just for the convenience of you guys. Plus they're usually affiliate links, which helps me out too. Um, so I will try and link anything I can find from this try on down below. I was impressed with the fit of the jeans and stuff like that. So it wasn't completely a miss, but I'm hoping Target just needs to get better at their plus size section. I mean, some of the XXLs I tried on were pretty cute, but even some of the stuff in the junior section, I still, it, I had to find stuff. Like it wasn't like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to try all of these on. There was only a couple things that I was really excited about. So it's the same thing. We've been saying this for a while about Target. You guys have, I have, we have, um, but you know, whatever, not the worst, not the best, could be much worse. Um, I think my old Navy try was just so successful and so exciting that it just made it seem a little bit lackluster compared. Um, Cause there was some really cute stuff at Old Navy. If you haven't checked out that Old Navy in the fitting room, definitely check it out. That was super successful. Um, but anyway, I think that's it. I'm gonna stop yakking. I've got a cat hair on my nose. I got laundry to do. I, got, I wanna touch up my hair. I've got so many things. So I'm gonna go do that. Sorry I'm scatterbrained. I've had so much coffee today. So much coffee today. I gotta go edit two videos. I gotta pack. I'm not leaving tomorrow, thank goodness. But I, you know, time crunch. I've got stuff tomorrow's date night. So I have half of my day like accounted for tomorrow so I better get to it um but thank you guys for hanging out again hopefully we'll have a much more successful I'm gonna get back to Ross because Ross actually had some cute stuff just their fitting rooms were closed for the night because they were short staffed so I'll go back early in the day that day I've just been trying to crunch too many things into days where there's not time in the days so I apologize but we will get to it also I'm sure my makeup is a mess again I've been running around all day okay I'm gonna stop talking 
stop yakking. I love you guys so much. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know where you want it in the fitting room next. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. I love you so much. Uh, one of the next videos will be a Portland vlog. I'm excited. We're going to vlog, so. Anyway, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Subscribe if you want to be friends. All right? Bye, guys.